Yes, whenever you're ready. That's all right. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Hold the order of the Troy Planning Commission for Wednesday, March 8, 2023. Call, please. Mr. McGarry? Present. Mr. Westmeyer? Here. Mayor Oda? Here. Mr. Titterington? Here. Mr. Zerlich? Here. Mr. Wolke? Here. Mr. Caffers? We have a quorum. Okay, first uh, item is the uh, minutes from February 22nd. They were sent to everyone. Is there any comments, revisions, or deletions? Like a motion to approve? Yeah. Second. And second by Mrs. Zerlich. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Minutes are adopted. The next item, the first item of business then is a historical district application or certificate for appropriate this for 207 East Main Street for exterior alterations, repair and repainting, damage, port stuff, and columns, etc. Staff have a report. Staff have a report. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, the applicant, Sheldon, uh, Sheldon Shelby, is requesting uh, approval for multiple alterations and painting at the property at 207 East Main. The property is in the B3 Central Business District. Uh, the following repairs or alterations are being con uh, being requested. Repair and repainting of the damaged porch soffit columns to include the replacement of two routed columns. Uh, the porch color will remain white. In addition to raise the hand railing and height in the porch to 34 inches. Uh, they will maintain the current railing as to keep the, the appearance the same and the um, height will be in code compliance. Uh, they will also be repainting the three entry doors to a Charleston green. They will be in the installing exterior lighting to include lantern style wall sconces outside the three primary entrances. The same style lanterns will be installed on the porch as well. All fixtures will be oil rubbed bronze. Um, the removal of the rear lean-to style addition. Um, this is not original to the property and is in disrepair and will not be replaced. And the final item is the, the garage in the rear will be made into a carriage style garage as indicated in the uh, picture. The north face of the, built, of the structure will be removed and opened up into three um, parking spaces. There will be new uh, uh, supports added and uh, a concrete approach will be uh, poured to access this structure. Staff recommends approval uh, based on the following. The contributing features as referenced on the OHI, farm, OHI form are being maintained and the paint color is present on site as well as in the historic district. That concludes our report. Any questions for staff? Mr. Chair. So, uh, Charleston Green, do we have a swatch of it at all? I believe it was in the report. Well, it's in the packet, uh, which I have an online version, and it comes across as pretty much black. Uh, which tells me it's probably not lime green, it's probably... No, it's like a forest, the dark, the deep green. It, it's similar to the parallel square. Yeah, green. Very, very close to that color. Okay. I'm sorry. Tax, <laughs> tax my memory for. I'm sorry. I didn't touch this around. It's a very dark green. <laughs> so it is almost, almost black. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that what we have? Black. <laughs> well, yeah. black with a hint of green in it? It's very, very dark. Yes, yeah. yeah. it is. All right. Thank you. Are there any other questions for the staff? I'll move for approval. Second. Second by Larry. Roll call, please. Mr. Westmeyer? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Mr. Titterington? Yes. Mrs. Early? Yes. Mr. Wolke? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Yes. It's approved. The next item of business is a historical district application certificate of appropriateness for 9 through 11 West Main. For alterations on the front facade and the west facade facing Cherry Street. Is there a, is there a report, sir? Yes, sir. 
So on the, the east storefront facing West Main Street, um, the applicant is proposing to recess that storefront. Um, that storefront was originally recessed back um, in the 1920s. In the report I included as photo A a picture of that storefront. Um, a new aluminum entry door will be installed to the west of the ticket booth. And then the ticket booth will be recreated back to its original or very close to its original design. There is also going to be accent lighting added that's currently inside of the storefront. They're going to restore that. Um, it's actually the last picture of your packet that's currently there. That's going to be visible now and the lights are going to be a warm soft light. A fire escape will also be added along the west facade um, that will have access up to the roof. Um, it will be painted steel channel stringers and treads and it will be in the tricorn black color. On the west facade, the applicant is proposing five total window installations to match the existing windows. Two windows will be double hung with nine over nine divided grills. Two windows will be double hung with four or four divided grills and one small window on the chimney column um, will be present as well. All windows will have the appropriate brick soldiers on the sills and caps to match the adjacent windows. And then one new entry door is being proposed east of the chimney column. All existing doors will also be painted that tricorn black. For paint, um, the applicant is requesting to paint the storefront details that are facing Main Street, the urban bronze color, which the swatch is um, down on the southeast corner of the page. The doors on the new recessed storefront will be that tricorn black color. The decorative rails on the second story will be painted rockwood antique gold. And the roof sign that we went through the DRO process in December is going to change now. It's going to be painted. It's going to be the same size, just painted these um, accent colors. Staff recommends approval with the condition that the fire escape complies with Chapter 717 of use of public sidewalks prior to installation. This conditional approval is based on the following. The contributing features referenced on the OHI form are not being altered. The paint colors are currently used in the district and the alterations comply with the design manual. Now I'll conclude my report. Mr. Chair, yes, I have a question. Sounds silly. How much space is left from the end of the fire escape to the curb of the sidewalk? From the end to the curb. Do you have that, Andrew? It's over 10 feet. Over 10 feet. Okay, thank you. Is there a fire escape on that side of the building now? No. no. There is one at the Davies building across the street by the right. bicycle shop. Right. And I, I take it there's going to be some kind of a locking mechanism or a gate at the bottom of the. Yeah. You want, you want to come up and identify yourself? Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we start a conversation. Uh, my name is Andrew Circle, uh, 320 East Main, here in Troy. You're, and, uh, you're the architect, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some sort of gate or something to um, stop access up onto the, the roof. Um, most of the stairs around town don't have gates, but it'll be Al Swing gates. It's an egress stair that's required by the uh, building code. Well, most of them don't go up to the roof either. So True. That was kind of the unusual. Yeah. Okay. That's the only question I have. Mr. Chair, before he sits down, um, so that staircase, um, I think you you had said, I, I seem to recall that it's only going to be four feet wide. Yeah, it'll be the code minimum, so it'll be three eight clear plus the stringers, so about okay. four feet. Yeah. Well, um, all right. And uh, part of just to get it on the record, 717 is the use of the of the public right of way. So I have to go through our process, but um, that will require uh, some insurance coverage. It will have to be named as an additional insurer. Right. And 
and that's true of any of the furniture or any of the use of the right of way downtown. So okay, thank you. It, is that chimney functional <clears throat> in the center? You've got a window in the uh, chimney column. I, I don't understand that. Oh yeah, I, the chimney's in the center of the building. Center of the building. So oh, okay. you're looking at something beyond. It's um, yeah. There, look at the picture. There, you can see the the chimney's in the in the middle. Okay, I see now. Any other questions for Okay, uh, right now, do we have a motion? I'll move to approve. Mayor Booth to approve. I'll second that. Second. Roll call, please. And that is just the condition that was mentioned. Pardon me? The condition? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the condition that it complies with Chapter 717. What he said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll call. Mayor? Yes. Mr. Titterington? Yes. Mrs. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Wolke? Yes. Mr. McGarry? Yes. Mr. Westmeyer? Yes. Approved. Does staff have any other business? We do not, sir. Thank you. Does the commission have any other business? Very done. Move to adjourn. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can you adjourn?